Hey, y'all, I'm going to do a little short video, hopefully short. I'm bad about having long videos. But there's such a, I can comfortably say 95% of the churches, so-called churches in America, preachers, okay, preach a broad gospel. So I want to share some scriptures with you to get you to thinking about, are you living the broad way? The broad gospel, well, you may be carnally minded, which Paul says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. Or is your mind set on the things of God? You know, the greatest commandment, Jesus said, is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart and all your mind. And it says a carnal mind is enmity against God. Friendship of the world is an enemy of God, enmity against God. Do you love this world? Look at some scriptures to talk about. First, Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way that leads under the kingdom of heaven and few there be to find it. He said that, I think, in all four of the gospels. Uh, uh, John 12, 25, he said, whosoever loses, I mean, whosoever loves his life will lose it. Okay. Uh, whosoever hates his life in this world will have eternal life. Uh, uh, in Luke 9, 24, he said the same thing. Matthew 16, 25. Uh, uh, Matthew 10, 39. Uh, uh, Luke 9, 25. Well, that's if, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? But think about that. The Lord says, he that finds his life in this life shall lose it. Uh, you know, I think about people uh, that say, uh, well, I can't help but think about my wife again. Uh, again or I still call her my wife. I reckon she doesn't call me her husband, but whatever. But she said, uh, if I have to live alone the rest of my life to have calm in my life, then I'll live alone the rest of my life. Well, she hadn't lost her life. Okay? She won't, she won't, she won't, she's going to leave her husband because her husband's concerned about our son's soul fornicating and shacking up and living in sin, drinking booze, smoking pot. And, uh, but she's, she's, she don't want to hear her son fussing at her complaining about her husband which would be me in that at that time and uh but that's selfish you know jesus said something else about this narrow and straight path that i'm i'm, I'm speaking about he said except he said we must deny ourselves take up our cross daily and follow him you know he that finds his life in this life shall lose it okay so it's, it's just talking about me, you, when you give your life to Christ, the scripture very clearly teaches this, you're supposed to die. Okay? Your flesh, your will dies, and you, you, you take on the will of God. Paul says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, yet I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Okay? That's a life of walking in the spirit. Okay? Uh, uh, and, and and not the flesh. Uh, Jesus said, he that loves father, mother, brother, sister, son, or daughter. I mean, we could clearly say wife or husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, anything. Sports, money, uh, pleasures of life. More than me is not worthy of me. Now notice he said they love him. Oh, well, the preachers say, oh, if you love God, if you love Jesus, if you just accept Jesus and believe in Jesus, you're saved. Okay? That's not what Jesus said, y'all. That's the, the broad way you hear. And most, from, from, I can comfortably say 95% of the preachers and churches in this country. Okay? Have no, they, most so-called Christians have no real fear of God. Okay? Uh, they don't know God's word. Okay, because they don't need to know it. That, that, uh, if they go to church, they'll hear the preacher preach some sermons, tickle the ears a little bit. 
they feel good. You know, they can, they can have willful sin in their life. Divorce their husband or their wife when Jesus says don't do it. Okay? Uh, uh, not treat others the way they want to be treated. You know, doing to others as you would have them doing to you. The second greatest commandment. It's not a suggestion. And uh, so, uh, but we need to think about these things, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we need to get into God's word. Okay, Jesus said, many will come up to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? How many people that claim to be Christians can say that? Heal the sick in your name? How many can say that? Done many wonderful works, cast demons out in your name? How many can say that? And he says, I'll tell them, depart from me, you workers of sin. I never knew you, iniquity. Okay, he didn't say they didn't do these things. Evidently, you know, maybe they obeyed the Lord at one time and, uh, uh, and you know, got sin in their life. It's like God told Ezekiel, tell the righteous man, if he will continue in his righteousness and commit not iniquity, or, uh, uh, he shall live thereby. But if he turns from his righteousness and commits and does that, uh, evil or sin, I will remember none of the righteousness which he has committed. Okay? In other words, you know, you and I can be doing everything right and we can decide to commit one sin. Okay? And if it's, a, if, if it's a sin unto death like uh, uh, not treating somebody the way you want to be treated, okay? second greatest commandment, you know, divorce or, or, or adultery or fornication or jealousy, uh, you know, all these sins unto death mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, and Galatians chapter 5, uh, revelings, uh, revilings, uh, uh, many, many, many sins unto death, ladies and gentlemen, bitterness, unforgiveness. Uh, you know, we need to get into God's word and know these things. Okay. It's our responsibility to do that. Okay. And uh, idolatry. You know, a lot of people, the television is idolatry to them. Uh, uh, sports, uh, they, a lot of people, they, they, they love themselves more than they love God. You know, the Bible says, it reminds me of my wife, unfortunately. Uh, the Bible says in the last days, they'll be lovers of themselves. Okay. Lovers of, like, if I have to live alone the rest of my life, then that's what I'll do. I'll leave my husband. I don't care what Jesus said. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want to do. Uh, 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 I'm not going to deny myself. Uh, I'm not going to lose my life. I'm going to try to find my life by leaving my husband or leaving my wife, you could say, whatever the case may be. Uh, and uh, uh, that's the broad path. That person is deceived. That person is delusional. They don't know the word of God. You know, God's word says, uh, for if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? That's right. Uh, and, the, you know, what Jesus said to be likened to the days of Noah when the son of man shall return. Well, in the days of Noah, they were drinking, giving in marriage, da, 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 and, and, and uh, God found one righteous man and, and saved him and his family. Uh, think about that, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, God is holy. God's word says without holiness, no one shall see God. That's the narrow and straight path. Okay. Man, I am so shocked now at all the women. You know, most women don't dress holy to begin with. They squeeze in their jeans and their pants. They dress like men. You very rarely ever see a woman out in public. I've been, I've noticed this a lot since this, these women are wearing their uh, pantyhose in public now. They call them leggings now. Okay, some of uh, you know, like like people like my wife will wear them tightly fit to the to the figure. Uh, she'll even wear them to church with a long shirt that don't come, you know, down below her knees, but split all the way down the side. So when she's sitting down in the, in the pew, you can see her whole entire thigh with those tight leggings on. Okay, and. I'm telling you, I'm, I just can't believe. I talked to a lady today in Walmart, okay? I, 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 I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I've probably, 
I don't like to go out in the public because I see all these women. It's so overwhelming. It is so many women now, okay, dressed in these leggings. You know, the Bible says, present your bodies, Romans 12, 1 and 2, holy unto God. Be not conformed to this world. Man, look at the so-called Christians being conformed to the world and the way the world dresses. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I'm not exaggerating. I've, re, I've reproved and rebuked, and I'm not exaggerating, over a dozen in the last few days. Okay. And uh, I had one woman in the Walmart push. I'd, I'd walked away from my buggy a little bit looking for some uh, certain type of cereal. And her and her daughter was dressed in leggings. And I, I don't remember my exact words, but I, I think I might have said, uh, why are you dressed in uh, just extra thick pantyhose fitting tight to your body uh, so lewdly? Uh, I, I might even say uh, dressed like a whore. Okay, I, I, I speak truth to them. I, often I'll, I'll, I'll ask them, uh, why do you think so many women dress like a whore? And they'll look at me and act like, uh, and I'll say, I mean, like you, ma'am, uh, don't you think a whore would be on the street corner in her, in, in her tight leggings showing her figure off? And, and literally, uh, I mean, it's, a, it's just amazing, ladies and gentlemen. But I've talked to a couple of, uh, uh, I talked to a lady in Walmart today. She says, I agree with you, sir. I just walked into Walmart and started seeing them left and right. And I saw another lady. I said, ma'am, what you think about all these women? She was dressed modestly in loose pants. I said, what do you think about all these women? I said, look at them. I was pointing at them. I said, look at them. I mean, they were, as they were coming out of Walmart, I said, look how many of them in their, dressed in their, in, in their extra thick pantyhose. She says, I know it. She says, it's unbelievable. She, that's what she said. I, I said, well, I, know, I, I believe it's a Jezebel spirit. So many women are selfish. It feels good. They feel sexy. Yeah, I, I've had a few admit they feel sexy while I wear them. They feel good. Yeah, is that the way God wants you to dress? Is that in, in public? You want to dress sexy, feel sexy, do it in the privacy of your home with your husband or, you, uh, or to yourself, I reckon. Uh, very carnal. It's very carnal. Uh, but anyway, the narrow and straight path. Okay, Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way that leads unto the kingdom of heaven and few there be to find it. And broad is the way that leads unto hell and many there be to find it. Yep. And, uh, but that's not what we hear from the majority of preachers. You know, the Bible talks about the old man is dead. Have you died? Is your old man dead? Are you, are, are, are you one of these fake Christians, false converts have been told because you accepted Jesus and Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Okay. Well, that's just part of it. Don't unrightly divide the word of God. That's Romans 10, 9 and 10. But you can't. The, the, scripture, the Bible says no one scripture of the private interpretation. Uh, study the word of God to show yourself approved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's being very unrightly divided. The most unrightly divided, twisted book in the world. Is the scriptures, okay? God's word, and Satan sees to that, okay? Satan, for years, when I was young, it's that counterfeit gospel, that counterfeit salvation, you know? Teach you to memorize John 3, 16, make you think just because you believe in Jesus, uh, you know, for God so loved the world, he gave his only God, so who believeth in him should not perish. That means they may or may not. And they've even changed that now in some versions of the Bible to will not. Well, there's a big difference in should not okay, and will not. Okay. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jesus said, for example, it's harder for a rich man in the kingdom of heaven than the camel to go through the eye of a needle. But with God, all things are possible. And uh, uh, strive to enter into the narrow and straight gate, Jesus said. What are all these false preachers this broad got? Man, you got you don't have to strive. You don't have to do anything but believe in it's only by faith. No, the Bible don't say that, y'all. The Bible says it's by faith through grace, but it don't say only. Okay? The Bible says we're saved by grace. Okay? 
but it don't say only. Okay? All right? That's things we have to do. Philippians 2.12 says, Let every man work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? And uh, so, uh, you know, people have been brainwashed uh, by a lot of these, by, by these false preachers. I was, I was raised that way. Okay? I, but I was told I had Jesus in my heart, you know, believe in their broad gospel. But Jesus didn't come in my heart. I didn't know. Him. But Jesus didn't come into my heart, ladies and gentlemen, until I laid all my sin down as a 17-year-old young man. Okay? And uh, he came into me in my bedroom. I didn't want to go to church. I prayed with a Baptist preacher and an Assembly of God preacher. You can go on, uh, look on my YouTube channel and find my testimony. Uh, but anyway, y'all, I'll end this video. Have you lost your life for Christ? Are you denying yourself? Is your old man dead? Are you uh, walking in the spirit, not the flesh? Okay. Uh, those are great questions to ask yourself. Paul says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, lest you all be reprobates. Okay. Uh, so uh, are, uh, do you love anything or anyone uh, or even yourself more than God? Jesus said, then you're not worthy of him. Okay. Don't matter what them false preachers tell you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's time to rebuke the false preachers. It's time, you know, eventually I'm going to get back to preaching in front of these churches. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I, you look on my YouTube video, I did in front of one, uh, this Grace Church. Okay. And, uh, but anyway, I love y'all. Uh, uh, take this message to heart, the scriptures. It's a narrow and straight path. We must deny ourselves. We must lose our life and let Christ reign and live in us. We must walk in the spirit. We must come out of the world and be separate, saith the Lord. And I shall be a father to you and you shall be my sons and my daughters. Okay. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, the scripture says. Okay. No, uh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. But whosoever does the will of God shall live forever. And, uh, so uh, Hebrews 5, 9, God is the author of eternal salvation and to all them that obey him. The book of 1 John says, for this is the love of God that you keep his commandments. Yep, scripture says, he that says he uh, uh, love, knows God and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But anyway, there's a few good scriptures for you. In the book of 1 John, it also says, he that is born of God or born again, does not sin because, listen, because he guards himself from the wicked one and the wicked one touches him not. Man, most people don't even know that's in the Bible. Oh, we're going to sin every day. Well, you know what? If I really love God, I'm not going to sin every day. Okay? And I don't. I hate sin. I strive to please my Lord, my God, my Savior. Okay? With everything in me. Yes, I do. Okay? That's what love is. Okay? And if we truly love God, we will, we will live like it. Jesus said in John chapter 14, if you love me, you will keep my commandments and I will manifest myself to you. That's a condition right there. He went on and said in that same chapter, he that has my commandments and keeps them. He it is that loves me and he shall be loved by my father and we shall come unto him. God is holy, ladies and gentlemen. These preachers has got it all wrong. I got to say this now. It just hit me. The 95% the, the, the of the preachers in this world today, they say, come as you are. Okay? Okay? Well, you, you come as you are and ready to repent right now. Okay? But no, they tell you just accept Jesus. Ask him to come in your heart, forgive you your sins. He comes in and now you need to try to live right. That's not the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. That tickles your ears and sounds good, don't it? Okay? That's what these false preachers are telling people. No, the Holy Spirit ain't coming in you. He'll be with you. Okay? To convict you. Okay? Jesus said, repent or perish. Okay? The word says, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Okay? We can't get our sins blotted out just by asking if we're not going to repent and get converted. That means stop committing the sins. Hebrews 10, 26 through 31 talks about willful sin. 
like so many willful sins that my wife's committed against me since she's uh, uh, refused to send a loving, uh, godly uh, message that God asked me to uh, uh, to tell, ask her to send to my son and get him to think about, you know, why his dad's not excited about him having a child out of wedlock, etc., etc. Okay, it's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, these people like like that. They don't know the word of God. They don't truly know the word. The word of God ain't in their heart. God's word says, David says, I hide the word in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Okay? So that, that's, that, that's what we got to do. We got to die to self. He that loses his life for, for Christ's sake. It don't mean just physically dying. Okay? Like, oh, if you don't uh, turn from Jesus, I'm going to blow your head off. Okay? It could mean that. But no. Jesus said, he that finds his life in this life shall lose it. Think about that. Well, I, you know, I mean, no greater example than, I mean, it's just a great example, like for my wife to say, if I had to live alone the rest of my life to have calm in my life, then so she just leaves her husband, which is me. Unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen, and goes to church, sits in the church and feels comfortable. Yeah, because of the false preachers, preaching the broad way. Okay. But anyway, I love y'all. Uh, uh, uh. Take it to heart. Get into God's word. Walk straight and narrow and preach the word. As Paul, the scripture says, preach the word in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort. If you love people, speak the truth to them. If you don't want them to go to hell, speak the truth to them. Be willing to suffer persecution. Did you know it says in your Bible, for all that live godly shall suffer for Christ's sake? It didn't say some. It says all. Jesus said, uh, uh, you will be persecuted for righteousness sake. Okay? It's all counting the cost. If you're not willing to do that, if you're ashamed of Christ and you're not willing to do that, you know what Christ will tell you? You ain't going to make it. You ain't worthy. You're not worthy. Okay? And uh, Jesus said, you're ashamed of me and of my words, I'll be ashamed of you. Yeah. And uh, so it's a narrow and straight way, ladies and gentlemen. And and, uh, and uh, you need to know that, you need to live that, and you need to share that. Because there's a lot of deceived people out there. So I love y'all. Take care. I hope hope you enjoy this video and pass it on.